Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're creating card number 10 of my DSP Paper Play series. And you are using a retro sketch. Love these sketches. This is one o retro sketch number 108. Um, if you guys are interested and want to check out more of the retro sketches, I'll list their blog over on my blog. The link's down below in the description area. The 6x6 paper pad that we're using is from Honeybee Stamps. It's called Birthday Bash. This one's, I think, a pretty relevant paper pad. It's not ancient, so um, if I can find it, I'll list it below for you guys. We're going to start off by taking this Happy Birthday print paper and trim down a background panel. We're going to trim at 4 inches turn it around and trim at five and a quarter. This is going to give me a background panel that's slightly smaller than my card base. Next we're going to take this kind of an ombre print with white stripes. We're going to trim down two one inch strips, but I want the ombre to be different colors. So we'll trim a one inch strip this side, flip it around, and then trim another one inch strip. Now I'm not going to trim down um, the length of it just yet. I'm not sure the size I want. Um, might adjust that. Now this piece we're going to use the reverse side. Um, it has the same ombre print just without the white stripes. I'm going to trim this down to I believe a two and a half inch wide strip. I am going to add a lacy border on the very bottom so this is going to be a different measurement also so I'm not going to bother telling you guys the measurements. Okay once those are done we're going to bring in these tone on tone pattern papers. I have a teal, a pink, a blue, and a yellow. Those would be perfect to create some lollipops. I'm using a die set for my stash called Lollipop. It's from Elizabeth Crafts. Super fun. It creates the base of the lolly and then the swirl, and then it has the stick and then also a bow. We're gonna do some die cutting, die cutting out two swirls, two bases, two sticks, and two bows. And we are good to go. I love the bright colors of these. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can actually see them. But as I was looking at these guys, actually, if you had balloons, I think you could probably create your own lollipop <laughs> with a, a perfect circle balloon. Go through your dies and, and check them out. And then just use maybe some Ranger Stickles or maybe some Nuvo Crystal Drops to create your swirl. I think that'd be really fun. The sticks would be easy, just thin strips of cardstock. So I added my swirls. We're going to flip over our lollies and I'm going to add little dots of glue at the base. We'll add our lollipop sticks here. Just hold them down so they, they're secure. I wanted the sticks to be kind of long, so I'm, I'm gluing them at the very end here. Once they're adhered, we'll flip them back around. We'll add another dot of glue at the base of our lolly in front, and then we'll add our bows. I think this is so fun. These remind me so much of Candyland. I don't know if it's the colors of Candyland or just remember playing it with my sisters when I was little, but love candies. <laughs> We're going to add the bow to the base of this one. And this other bow is a little bit high. I'm going to do a little adjusting. We're going to pick it up and scoot it down while the glue's still a little bit wet. Okay, those look good. Now we're going to build our card here. We're going to bring in our background patterns. I'm going to start off by adhering our birthday panel here. I'm going to flip it over, add some tape behind it, and then we're going to adhere this to a standard A2 size card base. Again, this measures four inches by five and a quarter, so it's gonna, we're gonna have a white border around it. Just wanna make sure you adhere it right side up. <laughs> There's been a few times where I've placed my printed backgrounds upside down. <laughs> okay, now these strips, I think we're gonna end up trimming them at four and three quarter inches. And I think for sure we're gonna have to trim down the ombre rectangle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take those strips. After they're trimmed, we're going to flip them over and add foam adhesive behind each one of them. Uh, um, the foam adhesive that I use is the 3 quarter inch 3M foam tape. I like this size. I like that you can trim it and I like the price too. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check out. It's the big roll. Um, sometimes the price goes up and down though. <laughs> okay. I think this is going to work with the yellow on the bottom, kind of flipping the ombre. We're just going to remove the release paper 
and add one of them, I would say maybe a half an inch from the left side of your card base. And then we'll add the second one, leaving about a quarter inch gap between them both. We'll add this one. Okay, I think that looks good. Now for this little piece, I did end up trimming it a little bit more um, to a one and three quarter inch strip. Um, I'm going to take my white cardstock that I used that I cut out the bow and the stick, and then I'm going to take some lacy border dies. These are from Lawn Fawn. This is the middle size. I'm going to go ahead and create a strip of the lacy border here to punch out those pieces. I used this because I just, I only needed a little bit showing, and so if the, the, the bows in the back we can actually trim off. And plus I wasn't sure if I wanted to add this lacy border to the left of my panel or to the very bottom, like the sketch shows. Sometimes you can, well, use your imagination with the sketches. That's the best thing about them. You can mix and match and twist and turn them to just customize them to how you like them. <laughs> but I'm going to follow the sketch with this. So I want to go ahead and adhere this panel to my little lacy border. I'm going to trim off the left and to the right. And then I'm going to bring in some white twine and add a bow at the seam here. Lovely. I'm going to go ahead and, and trim off this large piece that was just hanging over. You could glue it down if you wanted. But I'm going to go ahead and trim down the top of this panel so it measures one and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. And as I did that, I think we're going to trim down these strips as well. So these actually measure one inch by four and a quarter. I took a half inch off of those um, white striped pieces. I'm going to go ahead and add my lollies on top of my panel there. And I did go ahead and stamp my sentiment on a banner die. Um, it says just because dot dot dot. I just stamped with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I added that to the base of those lollies there. Now, after we have this done, we're gonna add some bells and whistles. I'm gonna go ahead and take my white gel pen and I'm gonna do a little faux stitching around that um, plain ombre paper there, make it stand out a little bit more with that white border. And then I'm gonna take some diamond stickles. Love these stickles, it's like an iridescent goldy stickle color. I'm gonna go around the swirls on my lollies with this for a little added sparkle. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add a few white sequins um, to my card. And then that finishes off my card today, guys. Again, this is Retro Sketch number 108 and number 10 of my DSP Paper Play series. I love the series because I love using pattern papers. But um, have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Um, Pie list is down below for what I can find. Sometimes I can't find everything that I use, but have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.